Shahis Khan was the news shoveder of Dhaka in that time. Shoveder means governor. And he didn't complete the fort in 1684. The daughter of Shahis Khan named Pari Bibi died there. After her death, he started thinking the fort as ominous and left the structure incomplete. Among the three major parts of Lalbag Fort, one is the tomb of Pari Bibi. After Shastakhan left Dhaka, it lost its popularity. The main cause was that the capital was shifted from Dhaka to Mushidabad. After the end of Royal Mughal period, the fort became abandoned. In 1844, the area achieved its name as Lalbagh, replacing Aurangabad. So the fort as Lalbagh Fort. Lalbagh Fort consists of three buildings. One, the mosque, west side. Two, the tomb of Pari Bibi, middle of east-west of the fort. Three, the Daunium placed east side. The mosque was used for prayer in that time and still in use. The beautiful structure and the handiwork there are great. People got amazed by seeing this kind of royal art. Many Islamic art and wall designs are preserved there. Shahista Khan could not make this fort better, but designing the tomb of Pari Bibi courteously. He brought marble stone, tiles, handicrafts of flower leaves there. This is the only place in Bangladesh where nine rooms under there decorated with this kind of items. The roofs are made of black stones in the top of the tomb. The dome is covered with pure copper. This beautiful 20.2 meter tomb was inaugurated in 1688. Dionyam is the greatest part of Lalbagh Fort. It was used as office in that time. Dionyam is a place from where the Mughal ruler gave direction to the ordinary people once in a week. There is also a royal bathroom known as Hammam. There are three gateways to enter the fort. The southern gateway is the most important and one can see it from Buriganga. It has a three-storied structure, but the middle structure is covered by minaret. That is why it looks like a two-story structure. In the royal area of Lalbagh Fort, there are also royal garden and a drainage system. After a certain time, Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb donated the fort to Shahista Khan in memory of his daughter Ori Bibi. The successor of Shahista Khan got revenue after his death by leasing the fort to the government after 1853. The cantonment was replaced in Lalbagh Fort from Puranapalton. Currently, the Archaeological Department of Bangladesh 
is maintaining this historical place. This has become a key tourist attraction in Dhaka. Almost 3 million people visit this place every year. Have you ever visited Lalbagh Fort? How amazing have you found it? Share your expression with us in comment. Entry fees of Lalbagh Fort Local tourist 20 taka Sark country tourist 100 taka and other country tourist 200 taka Visiting hours of Lalbagh Fort Summer session April to September Tuesday to Saturday 10 am to 1 pm and 1.30 pm to 6 pm Friday 10 am to 12.30 pm 2.30 pm to 6 pm Sunday is weekly holiday and Monday 2.30 pm to 6 pm Winter session October to March Tuesday to Saturday 9 am to 1 pm and 1.30 pm to 5 pm Friday 9 am to 12.30 pm 2 pm to 5 pm Sunday is weekly holiday and Monday 1.30 pm to 5 pm Eat holidays Lalbagh Fort will remain closed for visitor during each day and the previous day of Eid. It will remain open as usual from the next day of Eid. Government holiday Lalbagh Fort will remain closed during government holiday. Ramadan timing Lalbagh Fort will be closed at 4 pm during the holy month of Ramadan. For more information, stay tuned. Subscribe my channel. Lot more videos are coming.